I'm Steve Bull and this is a 2018 Nitro Z18 and it's got Mercury's new 150 horsepower Pro XS. And it's a lot of fun. At the stern casting platform, three lockable compartments and one barn door style opening with a flap. That is the live well. On either side, you have large, deep storage with removable bins. Very clever, very useful, and I would love to see this become a standard on boats. And along the center line, right at the very stern, you have more storage and room for batteries and battery access. Historically, a lot of people on a bass boat like this might go for the Optimax line, but the Optimax line is going away. It's no more. It's now vintage if you have one. And this Pro XS will scoot this Z18 along at over 61 miles per hour, even though it's only 150 horsepower. Now, as for the boat itself, the Z18 is a great bass boat. As you can see, we have the sunk down seating here, the two seats, a nice stitching, Nice little touch that doesn't help you catch more fish or help you drive, but it's color matched to the hull with little accents on the upholstery, which I really like. Both for the captain and the passenger, you have a foot rest, so you have a comfortable place to rest your feet. At the bow, all closed up, everything is a nice wide open casting platform. And of course, all the compartments at the bow are lockable. On the step up to the bow, you can lift up that latch and there is a garbage with a removable bin, always a nice touch. And on either side of it, you'll find cup holders and cutouts for tool holders, a must have on any fishing boat. For a lot of people, the name Nitro is synonymous with bass boats and when they hear Nitro and they see the sparkly glitter paint all throughout, even wrapping into the storage, and they see the nice seats with the color match to the hull upholstery accents, and they see the Lowrance Hook 5X unit, and they see the Minn Kota Maxim trolling motor, and they find out it's got the brand new Mercury Pro XS on it, and that it does 61 miles per hour, and it has all those amazing fishability features on it, you'd assume, quite rightly, that this would be a very expensive boat. It's not. It's remarkably affordable. It's remarkably fun. And I'm remarkably sad that I have to give it back. 